Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciate for you joining me uh, today. And I'm out today on another review. And a little learner bike actually, and I'm quite a lover of these. I just like the simplicity of, uh, you know, the, the ease of ride. Just to twist and go this one. It's the SH, it's a Honda SH125i. And I've rode the, the SH125 mode before. And I was quite impressed with that really as a learner bike. I mean, like I've said many times before, it's not all about, you know, whipping down the road on 1,000cc sport bikes. A lot, I do actually like to test ride as many, you know, a massive uh, variety of bikes as possible. It's not all about the, the high-end bikes or high performance. I mean, this is a high-end bike. Um, learner bike, anyway. Anyway, first impressions, very comfortable on the seat. Got to be a little bit careful because it's a little bit, little bit uh, frosty this morning. <laughs> well, I don't want to don't uh, be coming a cropper. Quite, it is cold today. Oh. Just sort of getting used to the bike at the moment. Lots of mud here. Try and keep clear of all that. Try and keep the mud off the bike as well. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'll give you a thorough walk around of the bike in the normal way. A little bit further down the road. Good visibility through these mirrors and actually very good see my elbows a little bit there i've just adjusted them but just adjust that one a little bit more yeah it's okay a bit of a bad road surface here no problems with the suspension nice and comfortable actually comes with the top box this one as well comes with a bike which is a you know a bonus really I will run through all the specs and the price of the bike. I want to make sure I get that right. Oh, it's very, very cold today. I've got the wrong jacket on. The wind's just blown straight through the jacket. What are the brakes like? 30 mile an hour. Nice and easy on both of them. Yeah, actually very good. I think it's got the Nissin calipers on here. Obviously single disc. Oh, the indicator on. What are they like? Nice and easy. No issues there well away from the horn button. It's actually quite visual up there on the on the screen. Cancel it. Nice big big uh, display there. You can't get you can't not get your, you can't not see the speed on there that's for sure. The time up there on the top right, uh, battery voltage and the range. So it's got it's got a fuel gauge underneath there actually so we've got half a tank of fuel. I think this bike is good for about 125 miles per gallon which you know really would be an absolute amazing commuter bike keep the costs down anyway really light and maneuverable be good round town i'm not going to ride round town i don't enjoy the traffic really so it's obviously going to be a decent bike to ride around town anyway so yeah button cluster you've got your lights here flasher as well if you push that down i'm not going to push it i've got a learner driver in front horn not going to bid that at the moment. Uh, info button here, up A and B, so A is the top one. You can cycle through your display there, your mileage, everything. And B is this little LCD one down here. So you can actually turn your traction control off as well. I don't know why you'd want to do that. <laughs> really. There's no need in doing that, is there? Especially on a day like today anyway. The roads are a bit slippy today, to be honest. So I need to be a little bit careful. Come on. Get yourself round the corner, round the junction there, that's it. Lovely pick up on here as well. I'm going to take it nice and easy. The bike's not done many miles. It's not my bike either, so... I don't want to be revving the arse off it. <laughs> Comes in all uh, several different colours as well, and I'll run through them. It's even got, I've noticed as well, a little uh, hook there for your shopping. Hang your shopping on there. <laughs> What's it like over the, uh, the famous rail crossing? We'll see what she's like over here. Whoa. Not too bad, a little bit bumpy there. No issues really though, but... Yeah, quite impressed so far, the brakes are very good. Plenty of leg room as well. Um, can't really moan about that at all. The little hump on the back of the seat there. Uh, could probably do with being a little bit further back. I mean, I'm not... I'm not I'm only five foot seven. I'm not, I ain't got the longest uh, inner seam leg. I think it's about 30, 30 inch, but I could do. I, I just feel a little bit, a little bit cramped up there. 
but there is there is a, obviously you know room for your passenger on the rear there which they've got the top box as well that they can sort of rest back onto giving the ride uh, the pillion a bit more confidence on the back the image actually rides, rides rather nice full led lighting as well all around on this it's been out for a while this one but it's new to me anyway i've not rode it like i say i have rode the other one the, uh, the mode sh125 mode this one being the eye there is a video on the channel i'll put a link up in the corner you can watch that at your leisure um yeah overall quite impressed really i've got not, not i don't think i've got enough confidence in the overtake maneuver here you need a little bit more performance or you need to gauge it right we'll have a go anyway yeah see slowly getting past <laughs> but you'd have to you have to make sure that you get that right you don't want to come a cropper yeah overall very good actually the rear brake is very good front brake yeah no issues with the stop and power there obviously for the weight and the speed of the bike very clear this display there's no direct sunlight on it at the moment but it does look very clear like I say it's got pretty much all the information you need you would need on a bike like this obviously your speedo it's in miles per hour uh, we've got the time the voltage as I've already said and a nice clear fuel gauge at the bottom the little LCD section here which is separate from the, the upper display telling me that the uh, the Honda switchable traction control the HSTC is on you can turn that off if you press and hold the B button I believe not going to be doing that it's also got the start stop function or idle stop they call it which when you come to the say a junction or and you're sitting there for the certain amount of time or traffic lights like the engine will cut out on you I'm not a massive lover of that I prefer it to be running in the background and also with a with a scooter like this with the the MPG you know it's, it's, it's good for 125 miles per gallon this is all according to the Honda website anyway so why would you even why would, why would you even worry about that it's Euro 5 compliant the bike it could be one of the reasons why it's got that feature maybe if you know let me know in the comments I don't know if you're new to the channel consider subscribing be much appreciated plenty more bike reviews coming when and where possible I know the weather's a bit poor the weather's been a bit poor oh very poor actually so not been out that much this is actually my first ride out well 2022 review this it's a lovely Honda SH125i thanks for the loan of the bike today much appreciated but I say stay tuned and we will pull over a little bit further along here and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine and I'll run through the specs the fuel tank actually on this one is it's been moved from under the seat it used to be under the seat on a well it's on a lot of these scooters it's been moved to the front here so it's a seven litre fuel tank therefore it's giving you more room under the seat for storage and I'll lift the seat up in a bit we'll have a look under there we'll have a little nosy <laughs> and I'll slow down a little bit yeah, you soon get a little lick soon get a lick on on this be surprised yeah we'll have a look under the seat and I think there's a, a USB charger point as well which is very handy if you want to charge your, your device or your mobile phone yeah I'm quite quite impressed really like I said, as I said earlier I'm not going to keep bleating on about it but I do enjoy the you know the ride out on just a, a complete good selection and variety of machine really and you you know this in the summer oh, you, you, you just you can experience the freedom of the, of the motorcycle and you know but yeah I ride a 765 Triumph RS and yeah it'd be nice just to go out on something like this and have a little uh, little nice easy ride out yeah it's got some a nice pickup as well when you open up the the twist grip the throttle 
Very smooth bike, very smooth. Getting a little bit of wind blast. I mean, you can get a screen, an additional optional extra screen for this model, I'm aware. Which would, if you're a sort of commuter and you want to keep, you keep the wind off you and the, the weather, the rain and the deflect, the, deflect that off you, then that would be a good option. So, I know the top box comes with the bike. It's actually got the smart key as well. I'm not sure if that's actually the smart key enabled box, I'm not sure. Full of confidence. 16 inch wheels on here as well, front and rear. A little bit of sun blur dazzling my eyes here. I've got the smoke visor on, so it's not too bad. Yeah, let me know. Could you see yourself out on one? Do you, know, do you own one? Have you had any problems with one if you do own one? Be interested to know in the comments. But can't really go too far wrong with these. You get, you know, obviously the, ex the excellent customer service by the through Honda and the uh, warranty on the new models. Very cold, it is very nippy today. Don't really want to be out for too long. <laughs> Getting wind blasted, so. Yeah, overall, very impressed. But so fully automatic, this, this model. So you just jump on. I love the simplicity of, uh, you know, riding these. Jump on, open it up, and away you go. Stick the key in your pocket. I mean, I'm not a massive lover of the key, the keyless system, but some some of you probably will be. I do prefer to have the key in the ignition. Or right, we'll just pull over, just up here, out of the way. And we'll try and warm up a little bit as well. <laughs> There's no temperature gauge on here by the look of it. So I'm not too sure, but I'm, it's definitely low single figures. Cool. I'm not meaning to moan, but I'm not a massive lover of the cold. <laughs> right, we'll pull over just in here, off the road. Let's try these brakes again. Yeah, I feel the ABS kicking in there. I've just done the rear brake. You can sort of feather the rear brake, really, just to... A uh, little bit of trial brake in there to steady the bike, like here actually. See if I can get it around in a one -er. Yeah, no issues there. Indicator off. Uh, side stand, no issues. Just cut the engine out because um, obviously safety feature there. Right, okay, let's get the take the gloves off and we'll run through the full specs of the bike. Right, well here she is, the Honda SH125i. Um, quite a lovely looking bike really to be honest, it's the 125, it's got the ESP plus uh, engine which is Euro 5 compliant, uh, fully electric start, it's a liquid cooled 4 stroke 4 valve single overhead cam, uh, it's also fuel injected, so yeah fully automatic V-belt twist and go and I love that, I really do love that, I love the, the simplicity of it all, you jump on and away you go, uh, what's that ESP plus enhanced smart power which is yeah it's got the v-belt drive uh engine you got you're looking at 9.2 kilowatts at 8250 rpm if you're interested in all these figures and the torque it will give you 11.4 newton meters at 6500 rpm uh yeah the frame is a tubular steel underbone type which uh, apparently uh creating over 50 percent extra room yeah, and that will give you, uh, so you've got all that room under the seat, we will have a look in a minute. Uh, quite like the look of it actually, quite nice looking from the front. Still got the L plates on there as well, uh, ready for the learner, le learner rider. Uh, wheels, it's got, yeah like I said earlier, 16 inch front and rear wheels. It's actually got a disc brake on the rear there as well, so there's no drum brakes on the rear. And it looks like as well that you've got Nissin caliper, a Nissin caliper there on the, on the rear. And what we got there, yeah, nesting on the front as well. So that's all good. Fuel tank is a seven litre, like I said before, that's giving you a massive 125 miles per gallon or 44.6 kilometres per litre. Um, the curb weight is 136.5 kilograms. Uh, seat height, yeah, seat height, no issues with the seat height with me. There is 799 millimetres. So, lighting. 
we'll turn it on actually we'll turn the lights on turn this switch uh, she's on there let's have a look at the lighting yeah very nice full LED light in there uh, let's have a look at the rear yeah it's quite nice at the back there quite nice a lot of dual light in there little switch here as well uh, it says here fuel for the fuel cap little position there on the switch so it says seat or fuel so you can open that by pushing that button there I didn't expect it to swing out like that actually so yeah there's your your fuel tank under there close that up like I said there's a little hook there for your for your shopping your shopping bag there seat it's a seat button there as well so we've got yeah loads of room under there I think you'd be, you'd be able to get a full face helmet in there uh, let's go around this side actually tool kit there I've just noticed under under the seat there and yeah there is a little pouch there as well you could slide your phone in there and a little USB socket there under there so that's nice and handy a little bit of extra room there obviously that's where your fuel filler would normally be so yeah we'll close that down top box 35 litre top box on here as well I want to open her up <laughs> it's a bit tricky with one hand so there you go so yeah loads of room in there actually I'm pretty sure you get your full your, your helmet in there so yeah very good what else can I tell you yeah so lovely looking machine there comes also in four different colours actually so you've got timeless grey a pearl splendor red all these fancy names a matte pearl kill white which I would say that that's what this one is um, very nice yeah it's like a pearly white actually uh, or a matte rock grey and the bikes are starting from 3549 3549 and that's including the top box so fair, fair amount of bike for the money there really to be honest you know for a, a nice commuter scooter bike so we've already spoke about the brakes uh, the forks are the dual damper unit oh, sorry the forks are the telescopic front forks and the rear are the dual dampers so you've got two two uh, shocks there on the rear so it's adjustable there is that actually for the preload there's an adjuster down there as well on these it's actually quite dirty it could, it could do with the cleaner it just goes to show you know the state of the roads at the moment so yeah anyway here she is the sh 125i and overall i think yeah you know quite a, quite a nice but easy bike to ride quite impressed really uh, good visibility through the mirrors no issues there nice and grippy on the top on the on the road there so yeah very nice very nice indeed actually look like it's got michelin tires yeah michelin tires on there as well yeah so very good little telescopic forks there okay so i think we should jump on and ride some more all right so yeah start her up turn this on on there all the way to that point there i think you pull the brake we'll try it without the brake yeah you have to pull the brake in so very smooth bike to ride very smooth quite an enjoyable ride really that sun's ever so bright just wish that would be a bit warmer <laughs> indicator off what's the horn like nothing behind nothing around yeah pretty good that pretty good as horns go uh, very good well yeah anyway thanks for joining me today on this review hope you've enjoyed it um, and like I say, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. There's plenty more bike content coming to the channel. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So yeah, take care. See you soon.